What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Ken here. Um, today I'm just gonna give you kind of just a quick rundown of taping mud. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the different kinds of taping mud and uh, kind of help you understand so you don't get the wrong stuff. If you get the wrong stuff, you could, you could you know, be in for doing a lot of sanding on some mud that's really hard to sand. You could make a mess, you could, you know, you don't, you don't wanna get the wrong mud. You wanna get the right mud for the right application. It's important, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, on this side we have all purpose in a five gallon bucket. Then you have taping mud light, and then you have topping, okay? And if you take one more step over, you got hot mud. Okay, first of all, I do not recommend that you try to use hot mud unless you really know what you're doing, okay? You'll see you have 20 minute, 40 minute, 90 minute, right? And obviously, if you get 20 minute, it's gonna set up in 20 minutes. 40 is 40, 90 is 90 minutes. And uh, once it sets up, it sets up rock hard and you can't sand it. So if you don't really know what you're doing, stay away from hot mud, okay? You know, you need to practice and kind of get good and get to know what you're doing before you start messing around with hot mud. It's dangerous, I just don't recommend it. You know, if you're just learning, I don't recommend it. Okay, let's move on. As far as DDEX mud that you see at every Lowe's and Home Depot, you always want to get light, okay? It's the best stuff. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's what you need. Okay, so if you want taping mud, taping mud is you should only use to put your tape on and your corners on and that's it because it has a lot of glue in it. You don't ever want to use it to put a coat of mud on anything. Use it to put your tape on and your corners on and then you're done with it. Okay, you're done. Let's see over here you have topping. Yes, that's made for putting a coat of mud on. Okay, but it's not topping light. It's just topping. It's the cheaper mud, it's cheaper quality. It's harder to sand. It's, I don't like it at all. I don't recommend it. Forget about that. Stick to light. I don't care if it's all purpose, topping, or taping. Stick to light. This is really good stuff. Taping, great for the taping corners, like I said. All purpose, okay? It's not light. It's just all purpose, okay? Which means this mud here has, it's not all purpose. Trust me, it's not all purpose, this mud has a lot of glue in it. And once it dries, it's really hard and it's really hard to sand. It's really strong. This is taping mud. I want you to consider this to be taping mud. It's great to put your tape on and your corners on and then put it away. Don't recommend using this to put a coat of mud on. Because it's just, it, when it dries, it's rock hard. It's really hard to sand. It's, it's not all purpose. This is not all purpose. It says so on the bucket, but it's not. Consider this to be taping. Just use it to put tape and corners on and then put it away. Just like this stuff here, taping light. Consider those to be basically the same, okay? Now, as far as all purpose goes, this is what you want. Trust me on this, all purpose light, okay? It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It has just enough glue in it that it's gonna stick your tape in your corners on good. They're not gonna peel off, they're not gonna crack. They'll be okay, because it has just enough glue in it that it does a good job of that. And it's pretty easy to sand. So you can use this to put a coat of mud on, and it's pretty easy to sand. You can use this to put your finished coat on and sand it out and touch it up. So this is actually the true all-purpose. It does what it's supposed to do. It has just enough glue, stick on tapes and corners. It's not too hard to sand. You can totally sand it perfectly smooth. You can use this for everything. I like this stuff. Good stuff, okay? But for putting a coat of mud on, I recommend this here. Really? It's just perfect for putting it Real easy to sand. Does a great job. Smooth. Use it for your first coat, use it for your second coat. Real easy to sand, smooth. Comes out nice. So, so basically my advice to you would be to use, use taping light to stick your tape in your corners on so it'll be nice and strong and then put it away and then just use this for everything else. Topping light, okay? So, that's my recommendation. Taping light, put tape and corners on, and then just switch right over to this. Topping light. First coat, second coat, sand it perfectly smooth, touch it up, primer texture, or you know, do your level four smooth ball finish, you're good to go. Okay? So what's the takeaway? The takeaway of this video is to stick with light, okay? If it, do, if it says all purpose but not light, don't get it. It's not what you want. See, that's all purpose, but it's not light. It's gonna be really hard to sand. I don't consider that all purpose. 
and that's not quality mud either. It's not good. Forget about that. So, topping light, all-purpose light, taping light. That's basically all you need to know right there. Those three kinds of mud. Okay, I would just forget about this other stuff. Topping, but it's not light. All-purpose over here, but it's not light. I would forget about all that. Okay. Taping light, all-purpose light, and topping light. Stick with those. That's all you need. It does what it's supposed to do. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you. I know it does help because I see a lot of homeowners trying to do it themselves and they just don't know what to get. You know, they don't know the right materials to get and they're kind of getting overwhelmed. So I know that's going to help a lot of you homeowners and young contractors. So subscribe and like and uh, we'll see you on the next one.